Hello fellas. Um, I uploaded a video on Remarkable 2 device. Um, and I've got some uh, some questions from some of my uh, friends. And, uh, and the thing is, uh, uh, those questions are mainly about templates because in my previous video I'm writing over a um, role game a character sheet. And of course, uh, those uh, templates that you could use are the ones that are provided by um, the device itself. Okay, and well, someone asked me about how I uploaded it to um, to the device. In order to do it, you can do it at least in three ways. If you are an Android user, you can just upload them from your phone uh, using an app. I'm not really sure if there's an iOS uh, uh, application too. I think so. Yeah. Uh, also, there's a Windows uh, Windows um, application you can use. I'm a new Linux user, so I don't have any application in order to do that. So at the end, I end up um, creating some. Uh, some uh, some Python scripts which are actually available. Sorry because uh, for sorry for all this hesitation. I'm actually testing this uh, this thing to be able to record some some stuff. Okay, I let's uh, just uh, screen. Okay, that's good. And here I'm using this uh, this is the script inside a Docker container. Okay, um, I already installed those uh, those scripts, those Python scripts, which are mainly an ls download and upload. Okay, and I'm gonna grep if you are not a Linux user. Oh, okay, well this is for a filter, just in order to not show everything that's on my uh, root tree because of uh, well, it doesn't add anything to this. Um, this is not working because um, even if, if I've got my remarkable device connected, um, it's not uh, it's not USB. Uh, well, its USB interface is not uh, activated. Okay, so if you look at this in settings on storage settings. There is just a simple switch, you click it on. Okay, now it's on, as you can see. Great. And now, if you go back to a screen, okay, the same thing. Okay, good. But output is not great, it could be improved. And now I've got this, I'll just add the information on the UID UUID um, of the folder role, which is where I've got my role things, well, my role stuff. Um, also, uh, okay, you can see templates here. This is just a character that I got created, and this is the uh, the real thing. This is what a main PDF file I use. It's just a regular PDF, which you can just copy in order to add some information over it using your, you know, your stylus. You write on over it, you write on it, and you can after download it with this all these uh, alterations, which would be a different layer on it anyway. Okay. Um, let me show you, because there is a reason I'm not uh, using a template, a real template, is because even though um, you've got the chance to use those, this is a, a, this shell is connected through USB also, but it's connected through SSH shell. Okay, it's a shell over SSH connected to the device. When you connect your USB device, uh, sorry, your device through USB, it uh, also adds an Ethernet USB network, okay? Or a network, or a network Ethernet through USB. Um,
it's on Linux is mostly uh, automatic to do everything and you can do, do, do you don't need to do anything to just connect the device just plug it in and that's it um, devices got a fixed IP which is uh, 10 11 99 one and uh, also the one that you've got on your Wi-Fi network if it's connected to on any Wi-Fi okay the password is accessible through your through the, through the device itself you can look it up in the settings um, section uh, help I think and what you can one of those I think I think it's a second option when you, see, you can see license and all that uh, legal stuff at the at the bottom of the this page you can see the password okay um, but the thing is in this directory you uh, users share remarkable templates you can find what actual templates are inside the device and uh, JSON file which is this one okay which you can download. You can download all the this stuff in on your computer on your computer through SSH, and um, and uh, and just start modifying and add your own your own templates. Uh, I don't really enjoy this idea because I think those templates are one page templates. So it means if you, for example, are using a, tar a character sheet. Um, each single page you create inside this uh, new document will have exactly the same template this one page template as far as i know uh, i'm not really sure if they will change this in the near future um so i'm not actually using I, I, to be honest i never tried it i only had this device for two weeks and i don't really want to break it uh, i requested it on uh, March I think and it got until the almost the end of October uh, to get it and uh, if I break it I don't even know if I, I, I'll be able to get it back so uh, maybe later when I feel more confident about how I can use it uh, maybe I'll do it anyway um, I'll show you uh, I showed you I, sh <laughs> I saw you how you could uh, just maybe add some template templates on your device and also you can get some information if you go into uh, well it's already in root but let's do it anyway that, so you can see it root oh, sorry inside of this device is a home root home root dot local share remarkable and inside the name of this uh, uh, show settle show shittle uh, hoshital I think is the name it's a Mexican girl right uh, I don't really know I think it's a female name but I never met anyone with this name well I'm in Europe in Spain so it's quite difficult for me to get this name here which is probably quite uncommon inside this folder you can um, you can see all the content as you can see the names are just you will IDs okay those unique IDs inside which is a PDF files and some extra like metadata and page data some content content I think is the one that you add over it if you edit it if you add some information over these device or over this uh, document it would be inside this file okay anyway well you you've seen some of the of the stuff here uh, um, also if you want to check this um, let me try um, okay. if you want to check I'll link I'll, I'll leave a link here inside the, the video, YouTube video uh, where you can uh, get all this information okay you can use uh, the scripts on Linux if you are using a Windows uh, uh, operating system Android or iOS you probably don't need it so it doesn't matter well it's quite sure that we work on Mac OS because it's Python 3 and 
and it's mostly same structure on uh, Linux uh, shell and Windows, uh, sorry, Linux uh, shell, so it should work. You can just uh, download it from, from GitHub, it's public, you don't even need to, to log in, okay, to get the code. And it's open so you can read the code if you want to, okay. And that's it. Also, um, this is uh, a web you have to connect, not HTTPS inside. I'm not going to show you now because I don't want you to see the, the full root tree of my device, but um, probably you can find more information about this on the internet already. So that's it for now. Um, Sorry for all this hesitation, it's mainly my first video now, I don't really have much time, it's already almost 10 p.m. and I need to go, really need to go back to my stuff and sleep. Cheers mate.